Asia is a massive continent with a total size of over 17 million square miles. Native to Southeast Asia, Binturongs are famous for smelling like popcorn. It's true. And if that wasn't enough, it's also the most populous continent in the world. There are 4.4 billion people here. That's more than all the other continents combined. And that many people couldn't be wrong, could they? As you're about to see, there are so many reasons to explore this fascinating place. But don't be surprised if something unexpected turns up. That's why we're here. 15 Most Mysterious Discoveries Made in Asia, Part 2. Number 15. Bird Saliva Soup. You can guess what the main ingredient of this ancient delicacy is. Swiftlets, a bird indigenous to Southeast Asia and the South Pacific Islands, build nests from their spit. And believe it or not, their nests are actually used to make soup. And people's hankering for bird nest soup is no joke. It's actually a huge business. The nets are laden with feathers, have a distinctively avian stench, and are prized for a myriad alleged health benefits, from immunity-boosting and anti-aging properties to claims of curing cancer. Dissolved in water to produce a gluttonous mixture containing apparently magnesium, calcium, iron, and potassium, the soup is claimed to keep you young, improve your focus, and boost your libido. A single bowl of soup will set you back anywhere from $30 to $100. The high cost of bird's nest soup comes from the dangerous retrieval process of the nests and the painstaking cleaning they go through to become safe to eat. Three times a year, scouts climb up to the highest reaches for the nests. Once there, the climbers must be able to determine which nests are ready for picking and which nests are not. The nests must be picked precisely at the right time, after one batch of eggs has hatched, but before the female swiftlet lays another or else the nests won't sell for as high a price. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Asia is caught between two huge oceans, the Indian Ocean to the west and the Pacific to the east. In between is a complex geography of land and water that has given rise to some of the most fascinating and species-rich seas on our planet, as you can see. But is it us? Or does this mysterious discovery in Asia, a coral-covered mass with floating tentacle-like hair, look like an open mouth to some sort of mythical sea monster? Much of the geography of Southeast Asia is dictated by the Pacific Ring of Fire, a geologically active zone around the edges of the Pacific that encompass the region and shapes the landscape producing volcanoes, mountains, island chains, and trenches. So as bizarre as this looks, it could be perfectly normal to see something like this when you scuba dive in these regions. It's one of the most complex and diverse ecosystems on the planet. So what do you do? Swim closer and maybe enter the cave in front of you? or gladly keep your distance. Comment below with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, world's deepest sinkhole. China's Tianqing is the largest sinkhole on earth. In fact, Tianqing translates as sky holes or heavenly pits and it's a staggering 2,170 feet deep and 720 feet wide at the surface. To put that into perspective, it's over 328 feet taller than the One World Trade Center in New York City, and just about as wide as the building is tall. It's been well known to local people since ancient times. A 2,800-step staircase has been constructed in order to facilitate tourism, and it's hard to imagine, but people actually live here. Like most sinkholes, the structure is the end result of at least 2 million years of geological change. Sinkholes tend to get attention when their surface collapses and creates an irregular ring on land that just creepily drops off into nothing. When they collapse, it happens with minimal warning, and if they collapse in an urban center, they can swallow entire roads and buildings. The pit descends into an enormous cave complex with corridors, pillars, craters, and an entire interior ecosystem. The water collected at the bottom feeds into an underground river, which itself feeds into the Penyang River. Visually, the sinkhole looks like a giant took a massive cleaver and started hacking away at the mountainside until it chopped its way down and made abrupt cliff edges circling the sinkhole's rim. Number 13. Abandoned Town The Damre Mountains in Cambodia have long been considered sacred by the locals, 
and this hill station was built as a resort by colonial French to help the military who were stationed in that region. Construction finished in the early 1920s, and the result was jungle chic. Instead of building a small outpost to keep soldiers cool and dry, the French opted for opulence, and a small elegant city was born. Bokor Hill was built with the basic amenities of a post office and church. It also featured the over-the-top Bokor Hill Hotel and Casino, which stands as a monument to the French occupation in Cambodia. And now, the eerie ghost town marks what was once a thriving retreat for those who could afford it. Inevitably, it was left to wither. Because of the vantage points it offered, its remote location, and its proximity to Vietnam, it remained a military stronghold until the early 1990s. As peace and stability spread across Cambodia, Bokor Hill Station saw something of a resurrection, with tourists trickling back up the mountain to discover the remnants of a bygone past. Despite their dilapidated state, the empty buildings remain intact and are open for visitors to explore. Number 12. Panda Dogs Animal cafes have been springing up all over the world for decades as a place for animal lovers to enjoy a meal alongside their furry friends. A cafe in China is featuring Chow Chow dogs painted as panda cubs. As you can see, it's as adorable as it sounds. The cafe opened recently and is home to six fluffy Chow Chows dyed white and black. A video of the dogs roaming around the cafe went viral on social media. In the video, the owner of the cafe said it was also offering a hair dyeing service to patrons who wished to give their pets a similar makeover. Dying pets became a full-blown craze in China in the early 2010s, first for competitions, but then amidst a domestic wave of extreme dog pampering. However, it's prompted widespread criticism over the treatment of pets. Some pointed to comments by actual vets suggesting that dying a dog can damage its skin. Dogs are dogs. Dying them doesn't turn them into pandas. You hurt them just for the sake of what you think looks good. Others calling the animals panda dogs defended the cafe owner's right to change the pet's appearance. But following the online response, the cafe said it would not continue to offer the dying service. But it's business as usual for these panda chow chows. Number 11. Mystery Desert Handprint A massive Buddhist palm, which is a piece of earth art, has been made on the grassland near North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The Prophet's Palm occupies an area of 430,000 square feet, equaling six soccer fields. It's actually visible from space. It's so big, yet it's unknown how it happened. Who's responsible for the giant artwork? The position of the hand gesture has deep meaning for Buddhists. This particular position with the right hand upright with the palm facing outward, the Abhaya Mudra, is a symbol of fearlessness and protection. This mudra is related to the notion of fierce compassion where you can let go when it's necessary. This mudra may be helpful when you need to strengthen your boundaries while still opening your heart with confidence. So maybe this mudra can invite more fearlessness in how we engage with the world, just on a very big scale. Maybe it's a hopeful message meant for the entire world considering you can see it from space. And whoever made it, certainly it was more than one person, did a really good job. And they even managed to light up social media with this mystery desert handprint. Number 10. Crocodile Ice Cream Yes, crocodile ice cream is a thing. At first glance, you might see no difference between an ordinary frozen tree and crocodile ice cream. In fact, crocodile ice cream is actually made from a combination of milk and crocodile eggs. Suffice it to say, this exotic dessert in the Philippines offers no ingredients that will make the ice cream less palatable. And if we believe those who already tried it, crocodile ice cream doesn't deviate from the popular taste we're all familiar with. Its creator pointed out that crocodile ice cream is actually more nutritious than its classic counterparts. One serving contains less cholesterol and gives more protein than an ordinary chicken egg. Located in the Davao Crocodile Park in Davao City, this shop sells three crocodile egg flavors, durian, pandan, and vanilla. The durian flavor is the best seller despite the terrible smell of durian fruit a fruit native to Davao. It tastes exactly like the fruit minus the smell, apparently. The process for making the crocodile ice cream is similar to the process for making any kind of ice cream. Crocodile eggs contain more yolk than white, giving us a better texture, which makes it creamier and thicker than normal ice cream. Number 9. Yeti Head 
In Nepal, a remote Buddhist monastery has what many in that mountainous nation regard as proof of the Yeti's existence, its scalp. For centuries, the people of the Himalayas and southern Siberia have told stories of a wild humanoid-type creature living in the mountains. Sometimes they say it's a manifestation of a spirit or the failed crossbreeding of humans and bears. Other times, it's a monster that lives alone stalking the mountaintops. It's sometimes called the Merka, meaning wild man. Westerners began calling it the Abominable Snowman in 1921 after a British military officer spotted something mysterious on Mount Everest. Seeing bear or wolf tracks in the snow, the officer pointed them out to his Sherpa guides who told him of the wild man who lived in the mountains. And since people are still searching for proof of the Yeti's existence, zoologists examined the scalp and concluded that it was fashioned from the hide of a local antelope or goat and molded into a skull-like shape. Despite the conclusion of the scientists, people all over the world were fascinated with the scalp and many believe that it truly was the scalp of the abominable snowman. Number 8. Weasel Coffee Would you drink a specialty coffee in Indonesia made from coffee beans that have been digested and excreted by a civet cat? You'd be surprised, many do. Coffee enthusiasts pay upwards of $100 for a cup of what's known locally as Kopi Luwak, essentially cat poop coffee. Locals discovered that the enzymes in the animal's stomach changed the flavor of the coffee beans, making it less acidic and a smoother drink. Now, the industry for cat poop coffee is booming in regions where the civet cat thrives. Historically, civets roamed free on coffee plantations, feeding on the coffee cherries at night. After the animals eat the flesh of the ripe coffee cherries, their digestive system apparently imparts a smooth body and aroma to the beans, which emerge whole on the other side. Their droppings are then collected, cleaned, roasted, and brewed for coffee. According to legend, the farmers began combing through the droppings of the civet cat for undigested coffee beans. The farmers would dry, roast, and brew the beans, and when the Dutch colonists discovered how good the coffee was, demand for it began to rise. Thus, this coffee first started its journey to becoming an expensive gourmet cup back then. Number 7. Long Hair Village the ancient settlement is known across China as the Long Hair Village, and it's even recognized by the Guinness World Book of Records as the world's longest hair village. For the Yao minority of women, hair is their prized possession. They grow their jet black hair for their entire lives and manage to keep it looking strong and healthy well into their old age. They consider their hair so sacred that until recently, no one was allowed to look at a woman's loose locks except her husband and children. This rule was finally scrapped in the late 80s as the booming tourism became a major source of income for the village. Today, alongside regular day jobs and duties in the Yao village, the Rapunzel-haired women sing and perform in groups to the delight of tourists. So what's their secret? They wash with fermented rice water. You know, that milky colored liquid left over from rinsing or boiling rice. It's been the secret to beautiful hair for these village women as well as imperial princesses and pharaohs since ancient times. The Yao tribe dates back some 2,000 years. Most of the women's hair hangs down to their ankles, with 60 members of the tribe with hair longer than 3 feet. The longest hair in the village is 7 feet long. Number 6. Snail Facial They've long been thought of as garden pests, but snails, it seems, have a use after all crawling across faces as part of a new beauty treatment in Japan. This salon in Tokyo has debuted the snail facial, and people are loving it, and for good reason. Because of their plant eating and floral destruction, their slime grows rich in hyaluronic acid, protein, and antioxidants, making it a prime tool for anti-aging. The use of these little critters in the name of beauty isn't a new phenomenon. Snail slime was first used as an anti-aging tool more than 2,000 years ago when the slime was mixed with sour milk to treat inflammation. Snails have come a long way since. These shelled celebrities are given the A-list treatment within the spa. These little celeb snails are fed an all-organic diet, carrots, Japanese mustard spinach, and Swiss chard. Of the five in-house snails, there are three regulars that are more frequently chosen for their superior mucus-emitting ability. During the facial, the skin is cleansed before snails are placed on your cheeks and forehead. From there, the snails crawl around your face, leaving a trail of slime in their path. The facial can aid in the recovery of skin cells and the healing of damaged skin. Number 5. Vulture Towers 
In places like India, the Zoroastrians have an unusual way of disposing of their dead. They neither bury them nor cremate them. Instead, corpses are left atop high towers known as Dakma, or Towers of Silence, where they're exposed to the elements and consumed by scavenger birds, like vultures. Their tradition considers human cadavers and animal corpses to be nasu, which means unclean and polluting. The legend gets even deeper. Specifically, Nasu, the corpse demon, is believed to rush into the body and contaminate everything it comes into contact with. For this reason, they have rules for disposing of the dead as safely as possible. The vulture towers typically are circular, raised structures built for this very particular reason. The exposure of human corpses to the elements for decomposition in order to avert the contamination of the soil and other natural elements by the dead bodies. The birds do all the rest. Once the bones have been bleached by the sun and wind, which can take as long as a year, they're collected in an ossuary pit at the center of the tower, where, assisted by lime, they gradually disintegrate, and the remaining material, along with rainwater runoff, seeped through multiple coal and sand filters before being eventually washed out to sea. Number 4. Popcorn Bear Who doesn't love the smell of freshly popped popcorn? But it's not what you think. Meet the Binturong. They're called bear cats, but that name is rather misleading since they're not related to bears or to cats. Instead, they're related to civets and look more like gigantic dust mops and smell like a freshly made batch of popcorn. Binturongs may smell like popcorn, but it's not on their menu. They're classified as carnivores, but eat almost anything that suits their fancy, mainly fruits, but also vegetables, birds, small mammals, and fish. They've been known to eat carrion, small invertebrates, eggs, leaves, and plant shoots too, looking like something Dr. Seuss might have dreamed up. They have faces like cats and bodies like bears, long, shaggy black hair, stiff white whiskers, and a prehensile tail that's as long as its body. Their long ear tufts and reddish-brown eyes give them an endearing appearance. Plus, they have an important job in the forest where they're found. Through their fecal deposits, aka poop, they help spread seeds from the fruits they eat, helping to replant the rainforest. They also help with pest control since they catch and eat rodents. Number 3. Kung Fu Nuns The Kung Fu Nuns of Nepal are an order of Buddhist nuns. Their name comes from the order's proficiency in Chinese martial arts. Incredibly, they began learning in 2008 after religious leaders authorized training for them despite centuries-old Buddhist laws banning exercise for nuns. The Kung Fu nuns began to grow in rank to expand opportunities for themselves after becoming frustrated with women's lack of access to educational opportunities and equal treatment in the region. So they hired a Kung Fu master to teach them the art and help build the nuns' self-confidence. They train regularly and most have achieved black belts. Martial arts are known for their health benefits. Kung Fu can improve balance and cognitive functions that decline with age while a 2016 study found Kung Fu and Karate helped with blood sugar control as well. And the mental health benefits are just as strong. The calming, meditative trance needed to do a Tai Chi series has been known to greatly reduce anxiety and stress, even lowering levels of cortisol, the stress hormone in the blood of participants. Today, there are more than 800 Kung Fu nuns, ranging in age from 8 to 80. There's a waiting list for young girls who want to join the Kung Fu nun revolution. Number 2. Fake Glaciers Ever heard of a stupa? The word comes from the Sanskrit, meaning to heap or to pile up. And these giant artificial glaciers are man-made and do a very important job. Glaciers are not just spectacular indicators of climate change, they're also, for many communities, an irreplaceable source of fresh water. That's where these stupas come in. Hundreds of families need this valuable water supply. During the melting season in summer, it releases water that's essential to the ecosystem in the valleys below. The stupas are created during the winter, using runoff or spring water that's been piped underground. Next, the water is released at night when temperatures can drop below freezing. And as you can see, it shoots through a sprinkler into the air and freezes. In the course of the season, elaborate conical structures take shape, and these stupas can reach the height of a 10-story building. These iconic mountain ranges have an abundance of glaciers, but large areas also fall within the monsoon rain shadow zone, which means they're extremely arid because rain is blocked by the mountains. It's one of the coldest mountain regions in the world, with annual rain and snowfall rarely exceeding little more than the Sahara Desert. 
So, you have to create your own glacier. Number 1. Hampi Steps Among the most beautiful ruins of Hampi, once a grand city in the state of Karnakata in India, is the Pushkarnis, these ancient water tanks. Like many Hindu temples in India, Hampi's majestic temples have accompanying stepped tanks or basins used for religious and ceremonial purposes. They all follow a similar architectural form designed symmetrically as either rectangles or squares. Each generally has several large tiers which contain multiple steps in semi-pyramidal form leading down to the next level. And they were fed with the water of the nearest river through a series of canals and aqueducts. These sacred tanks were integral parts of each temple complex. The stepped tanks were used for ritual bathing and cleansing before prayers. They also performed important ritualistic functions for festivals. While some are no longer functional, others still receive some water through the ancient water systems. Asia isn't as big a mystery as we thought, but this ancient and culturally rich continent sure knows how to blow our minds. What's going to turn up there next? So like and subscribe since you love us so much and stick around for more great videos.